Welcome to Packed Action. Today we will be unboxing 1996 Upper Deck SP Hockey Cards. There's 30 packs per box. Still sealed up. Uh, I have no idea what could potentially be in here. But uh, we're going to check it out and hopefully get some fun items out of here. Obviously you got Gretzky on the front. When he was a St. Louis Blue, that did not last very long. Thanks to Mike Keenan. All right. Let's check it out. It's a lot of cards to go through. Look for exclusive special effects Hall of View insert cards. Eight cards per pack. Let's check it out. I have always liked the looks of these cards. Just thought they looked really good. Nelson Emerson. Redek Bonk. That's a hell of a name. Premier Prospect. Jesus. Ilja Gorloff. Awesome. First pack. Nothing spectacular. See if it gets any better. Ed Bell four, there we go. Cam Neely, Chris Osgood. Always liked him, even though I'm a Blues fan. Eric Lindros, one of the greats. Alexi Kokunov. Hard to read the names, hard to see, and the Russian. So. And I only know the major stars from this era. Dominic Hasek, all-time great. Rod Brendamore. Jason Botterell. Cool. Things were a little different back in 1996 for hockey cards. You know, it's not like you could get a patch or autographs. Um, it's more of the basic card. It looks like we got something coming up. Pavel Bure. Martin Brodeur. Upper Deck Stars. It's a sick card. And then uh, Gretzky Collection. Not really sure what that is, but all right. Bredore played for the Blues. Played the best six games of his career. Gary Suter. Scott Stevens played with the Blues. And then they got screwed over. And he got sent to New Jersey over uh, Brennan Shanahan. There we go. There's Gretzky on the Blues. Those were the, some really sweet looking jerseys. Red and yellow and blue. Still a fan of those. Mighty Ducks. I think they should go back to those jerseys too. Always thought those were pretty sweet. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy following this. Dale Howard, Chuck, Blues. There we go. Shane Course and Hollow View. Pretty cool. Uh, again, these cards are over 20 years old so um, I have seen worse as far as bending goes just through the years so this actually isn't too bad Steve Yeiserman Ron Francis Mark Messier star take that Luke Robitaille. Did not know he played for the Rangers. Thought he was just a king. You learn something new every day. And if you open hockey cards that are over 20 years old, Joe Sackick, Adam Oates, should have been a blue longer. You'll learn a lot more. Yamir Yager, still playing in the league today. 
Very impressive. What a stud. We still have like 45 more packs to open. Claude Lemieux, Timu Solani, more Tambor Door. And then you got the Timu Solani Hollow View. Ooh, look at that smile. Again, the Ducks should go back to those jerseys. The ones they have now are pretty ugly. Nicholas Lidstrom. Mark Recchi. Al McKinnis, all-time great. Man, love Timu Solani in the last couple packs. I'm okay with that. Chris Pronger. It's an odd looking card. There's Brendan Shanahan on the Whalers. Who do we got? Brian Leach, star. Hartford Whalers. Hartford the Whale. Peter Forsberg. Owen Nolan. Oh, I thought that was a great name. Hmm. Courtenau, Mark Messier. Roman. Hammerlick, star. Jeremy Roenick, Pierre Turgeon. Peter Forsberg, hollow view. Oh, not as good as the Timu Solani one. <laughs> but what do you expect? How could it be? For Deck Bonk, again. Patrick Wah. Grant Fuhr, stud. Who do we got there? Brian Leach, again. Hockey's cards are a lot different back then. You got 30 cards in a box. Nowadays, it seems like you get minimal. But they do have specialty cards, so that's pretty cool. Pavel Bure, Hollow View. Let's check this one out. Oh, flashing that smile. Russian Rocket. I believe he led the Canucks to the finals against New York when New York won back in 94. Fedorov. Satan. Shane Corson. Eric Lindros, star. Almost down to our final third. Still got a ton of cards here. They're on Flurry. Paul Korea, another duck. Good looking jersey. And not like Solani or Bure, just a regular picture. But. Sucks that concussions 
pretty much shortened his career. You can go back and watch the Ducks against uh, the Devils, and Scott Stevens just lays him out. Uh, but he does come back and score a goal. Mario Lemieux. Um, oh, Brad Hallstar. There we go. So, sucks that they didn't have the kind of uh, protocols for concussions back then. Uh, he definitely could have benefited from that. But, hey, what can you do? Don't skate with your head down. Ray Bork. What? Okay. An all-star jersey. That's crazy looking for Bruins. Keith Kachuk, stud for the Blues. Eric Lindros, that's a gold star? Don't know what's different about that, but it's obviously different than the silver stars we had gotten. Let's see if it has on the pack. Let's see. Stars, silver, 1 and 3. Gold, or 1 and 61. Hollow View, 1 and 5. Special effects one in seventy five, uh, Gretzky collection one in forty five, and Great Connection one in three eighty one. So, I guess there's different hollow views: ones where they smile at you, ones where they're just regular. Paul Coffey, Curtis Joseph, Mike Richter, Jim Carrey, not the actor, Matt Sundin. Would be really impressive if it was the actor. More Pavel Bure. Never a bad thing. Scott Stevens again. Gretzky. Down to three packs. Felix Potvin and Sergei Fedorov. He's flashing a smile. So I guess that's uh, one of the special effects because uh, it's not just a regular photo. Man, the league was stacked with stud players. Not that it's not now, but Jesus Christ, some of these names. The Iserman again. We are down to the last pack. Can't think of anybody that we haven't gotten that I would hope to. So. Alexander McGilney. So there you go. 1996 Upper Deck SP cards. Good looking cards. For 20 years, they are bent a little bit. Um, but overall, pretty great. There you go. Packed action. Thanks a lot.